We have numbers here that are growing, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can replace these numbers that are actually manually typed with something that is called a variable. And here we go again to the pseudocode. The pseudocode, in the pseudocode we had something that were called things. So we had something that is represented as a, as an, as, as a certain thing in the computer realm. And it's not an activity, but it is something that is um, that has certain value. In our case, it's this counter one, two, three, four. In the pseudocode before, the things were, for example, the groceries or food. This is something that is possible with Java or processing too. But we are we are starting with a very simple simple um, types. Um, these values actually can be stored somewhere, so we can have containers. For the values and this is what it's all about that's the variables variables are those containers so if we want to put some somewhere this counter we need a container we need something that will be a placeholder for the content for the value that is inside and that is called a variable i need to show you one more thing before um before we start or actually i don't have to I will do it in the in the um, practical part. So let's de declare our first variable. So again, variable is something that contains certain values. And in our case, I want to replace these one, two, three, four with a variable, which means a container that will contain those numbers. And I actually can use only one. So the container is going to be called a counter. This is, this is arbitrary, this is what I decided to call it. And note that I need to declare it before I'm going to use it. I know that I'm going to use it here in this part of the code, so therefore I need to declare it before. So I can say the counter should start with a value one, but this is not how you declare a variable. This is, you see that there is some error and processing tells me the variable counter does not exist. So and the first time I want to declare the variable, when I want to tell to my processing sketch that from this point on, we are going to have a variable that is going to be called a counter, I need to declare it. And I declare it by explicitly stating what data type it's going to be. And this is something that we will stop um, at for a while. But for the moment, just trust me, I know that I need to have a variable of a type integer and it's written like this, int counter equals one. So what have I done? At this point, I declared that from now on in this program, in this processing sketch, in this Java program, we are going to have something called a counter, that something is a variable, which means it's a container, a placeholder for an integer number. Integer means that it's a number that is a whole number, one, two, three, four, five, or minus one, two, three, four, five. It's not a number 1.5 because that's not an integer. So a whole number. And when it becomes existing, when it comes to an existence, it already has a value inside and the value is one. So this is how we declare a new variable. This is a proper way. We can do, um, we can do it in another way too. We can say just int um, another variable and we don't have to declare the default value. There is a problem though that before you start using it anyhow you need to assign certain value to it because it is actually not initiated yet. So it does exist you can somehow use it in your program but it will cause an error. I will show you later on uh, for the moment I can just erase this and let's use our first variable that is called a counter. So here I want to output hello world, or actually I can remove the hello world part. I can only output the counter. So if I do this, we already know that counter stands for one. So whenever I say use counter, it is the same as saying use one. When I run this process, processing sketch, this time the first line contains one because that's what is inside of counter, because what what this command does, it reads whatever is inside of the counter and uses it here. And the rest is the same. I will just delete this part of the code 
because I don't want it. So what I can do is I can copy this one, two, three, four times. And guess what happens? It outputs four times number one because the counter has never changed. We need to output different numbers, one, two, three, four. To do that, I need to change the counter to something else. So now I know that the counter is one. Here, I can again access the counter and assign a new value to the counter. So I will do that, counter equals two and semicolon again. This is syntax of Java all the time. Each line, each command, whatever you write, whatever is a block of code, which is actually always a line, it has to end with a semicolon. So again, what has happened is that a counter initially is one. So I output, I print line the counter and it's one. Then I change the counter from one to two and it's two. And I output it three times, but it hasn't changed. So what I can do with the counter, I can change it again to three. So now it's three and you see that now I have one, two, three, three, which is correct. And the last time I can say counter equals four and now it is one, two, three, four.